हाई लर्नर आई एम गुरुदेव सिंह राणा असिस्टेंट डायरेक्टर कंप्यूटर आईटी उत्तराखंड ओपन यूनिवर्सिटी हल्द्वानी डिस्ट्रिक्ट नैनीताल सो लर्नर इन दिस लेक्चर यू विल लर्न अबाउट जे ड्राइवर्स वट आर जे डी ड्राइवर्स हाउ दे वर्क एंड देर आर देर आर मैनी टाइप ऑफ जे ड्राइवर्स you will learn about type of jdbc drivers and i will explain in details how to use these drivers and where we use different type of drivers so learner in last lecture you learned about java database connectivity jdbc you learn about what is jdbc introduction of jdbc you also learned about jdbc architecture how they are interconnected with database and how java is interconnected with jdbc learner in this slide you will know about jdbc drivers so first you need to understand what is jdbc drivers jdbc drivers are client side adapters so first you need to understand here what is adapters in computer adapters are hardware or software component that allow two incompatible device or software to be linked together for a purpose of to transmit transmitting and receiving the data here client side adapter means adapter is installed on client machine not on the server so jdbc drivers are client side adapters that converts requests request from java program to a rule or set of rules that database management system can understand in simple word we can say jdbc drivers are software component that enable java application to link with database the jdbc driver must be installed in a 64 bit environment and requires java lts lts mean means long term support version 1.8 or higher the driver can be used with most client tools or applications that support jdbc for connecting to a database server if the minimum required version of java is not installed on the client machine where the jdbc driver is installed you must install either oracle java or open jdk so learner in this slide you will learn about type of jdbc drivers nowadays there are four type of jdbc drivers so first one is jdbc odbc vris driver here odbc means open database connectivity second one is native api driver this is also called type 2 uh, drivers or partially java drivers third one is network protocol driver this is fully java driver this is also called type 3 drivers fourth one is thin driver this is full java driver and this is also called type 4 drivers and in next slide we will discuss in detail uh, these type uh, these type of uh, drivers so first we will discuss about jdbc and odbc vris driver in this slide we will discuss about jdbc odbc vris driver jdbc odbc is also known as type 1 drivers in jdbc odbc bridge driver it use odbc driver to connect to the database the jdbc odbc bridge driver convert jdbc method calls into the odbc function calls the jdbc odbc bridge use synchronize methods to serialize all of the calls that it makes to odbc type 1 jdbc drivers are not recommended for 
production system. This JDBC driver type is simply a lightweighted FICAD over another database protocol and the most common protocol covered by the type 1 JDBC driver is open database connectivity means ODBC. So this is the architecture of JDBC ODBC bridge. So you can see in this figure Java application code will interact with with JDBC ODBC bridge. JDBC ODBC bridge will convert all the JDBC method calls to ODBC function call first. Then ODBC connect to the database using DB vendor drivers. DB vendors driver contain libraries, uh, maybe sometimes function that is related to the database. It can connect to local database uh, management system or network database management system. When Java first came out, this was a useful driver because most databases only support ODBC access. But now this type of driver is not recommended only for experimental use or we can use this type of drivers when no other alternatives is available. We can also use this type of driver for testing purpose. You can uh, we can use also for uh, learn something. Uh, we can say just experimental use. The JDBC ODBC bridge that comes with JDK 1.2 is a good example of this kind of driver. From Java 8, JDBC ODBC bridge has been removed. Oracle does not support the JDBC ODBC bridge from Java 8. Oracle recommends that you use JDBC drivers uh, provided by the vendor of your database instead of the JDBC ODBC bridge. So here you will also know about the advantage and disadvantage of JDBC ODBC bridge. So there are some advantage and some disadvantage of uh, this type of driver. So first we will focus on advantage. So first advantage a JDBC ODBC bridge is easy to use. We can use this driver very easily. This is uh, having some less configurations, so easy to configure and JDBC ODBC has simple architecture. So it is easy to use this driver uh, software is built in with JDK. So there is no need to install it separately. Now second one, a uh, second one is JDBC ODBC bridge can easily connect to any database like Oracle, MySQL, SQL Server. Here you can say using single driver, you can access different data sources. You can also access all the databases that support ODBC using this driver. After advantage, there are also some disadvantage of JDBC ODBC bridge. So we will also discuss the disadvantage of JDBC ODBC bridge drivers. So this is the first dis disadvantage. So first disadvantage is performance degrees. So why there is performance degrees? As in JDBC ODBC bridge drivers, first JDBC method calls converted into ODBC function call. So this is extra work is done by the drivers. So it takes some time and downgrade the performance of the uh, driver. So we can say this is an overhead to convert JDBC methods into uh, ODBC function calls. So this is extra work and uh, this is also extra head. So it is uh, downgrading the performance of the uh, drivers. Second dis disadvantage is that ODBC drivers need to install on client machine. On every client machine, this is overhead. Nothing is centralized. So when uh, we uh, any client connect want to connect to ODBC JDBC driver, so it need to install it on its machine first. Every client wants to connect database using this driver, it requires to install driver on his machine. JDBC ODBC bridge drivers are not recommended for production system. 
this type of drivers we can use only for experiment research and learning purpose jdbc odbc bridge driver is slow drivers so cannot be used in real time applications in jdbc odbc bridge driver odbc is used to connect database due to this reason odbc connectivity it is platform dependent drivers it is also not suitable for applet to connect a database now in this slide here we will discuss about second type of driver that is native api drivers the native api drivers also called type 2 drivers the native api drivers uses the client side library of the database the native api drivers converts jdbc method call into native calls of database jdbc api calls are converted into native c or c++ native calls of database which are unique to the database native api will be different from one database to another database means that let's say uh, there are multiple data database let mysql sql oracle so everyone have different native native apis all all native api will not be same for each database so these drivers are typically provided by the database vendors and used in the same manner as the jdbc odbc bridge the vendor specific driver must be installed on each client machine in simple word we can say native API drivers use native API to connect Java program to database. As per definition uh, of native API drivers, we can say native API drivers are database dependent driver because every database have their own data, uh, native APIs. As these drivers are database dependent, so if you change the database. from the back end you also need to change the native apis these drivers are not obsolete are not obsolete this is architecture of native api drivers so this is the figure and uh, this is the architecture of this native api drivers it is also similar to jdbc odbc bridge driver except there is one change in jdbc odbc bridge driver there is odbc driver layer now this is not in uh, native api architecture we can say we can say there is one less layer uh, in J, uh, in native api drivers the oracle call interface oci driver is example of this type of drivers now this is the architecture and this is the figure in this figure java application code first interact with the native api drivers and native api drivers converts api calls into native calls of database and here database vendors contain client side library of database and these are used by native api drivers these client side libraries interact with the database and response back to the native api drivers now here we will discuss about advantage and disadvantage of native api drivers so first uh, we will focus on advantage uh, then i will explain the disadvantage so now i am going to explain the advantage of native api drivers so native api drivers are comparatively faster than jdbc odbc bridge driver and you know why as i explained previously that jdbc odbc bridge driver uses odbc driver is used to connect database so firstly jdbc convert method call into odbc function call so it was an overhead and in native api jdbc driver use database client side library directly 
so it is there is no middle layer between jdbc and database uh, due to this there is an enhancement in the performance so i hope you understand the advantage of native api drivers and now i will explain the disadvantage there are some disadvantage of native api drivers as in jdbc odbc bridge driver it need to install the drivers on client machine similarly in native api drivers database vendors client library also required to install on each client machine due to this if there is any update in library we need to update on client machine if there is any change in any api of the database library so it need to update in every client machine so this is an overhead there is no centralized system now second one is most of that database have their own client side library so native api drivers will work for those but there are some databases which have not their client side libraries so native api drivers are not suitable for this type of databases so as we discussed previously jdbc odbc bridge drivers are platform dependent similarly native api drivers also platform dependent i hope you understand what is platform dependent or what is platform independent so last one is native api driver support all the java applications but it is not work for java applets jdbc odbc bridge driver also not works for java applet and jdbc and native api driver also not work for java applets so learner in this slide i will explain the learning outcomes of this lecture so i am sure you are able to understand what are jdbc drivers and why they required and you also know about the type of jdbc drivers from this lecture you understand about jdbc odbc bridge driver and how they use where they use and what is the disadvantage of uh, jdbc odbc bridge drivers and what are advantages and you also learn about native api drivers and you also understand the advantages and disadvantages of native api drivers so learner in next lecture we will continue the jdbc drivers and we'll explain the two drivers uh, in details and uh, we will learn about the advantages and disadvantages of these two uh, these two type of drivers in next session thank you